In this video, myself, Vince, and Paul are going to be discussing the importance of uh, considering variability when studying queuing systems. Here's a very simple example of a queue. Um, we have some customers lined up waiting to be served by the ice cream truck, which is our work center, and one customer being served at a time in um, an ice cream. In general, what happens is this customer will be here at the ice cream truck being served his ice cream, his or her ice cream, and then a minute later, perhaps, another customer arrives. But as the, the ice cream truck is busy, um, that customer waits and forms a queue. And then perhaps three minutes later, another customer will arrive. Um, but then also what will happen after a certain amount of time, perhaps two minutes, um, the first customer will uh, have received their ice cream and will leave. And when that customer leaves um, the ice cream truck, the front of the queue um, simply enters service. And so what we're interested in when we, are, uh, when we study these queuing systems is the time between arrivals, and in this particular example, the average was two minutes, and the time it takes to serve um, a customer. And in this particular example, um, it took two minutes. So um, on average, we have a, a queue here where it takes two minutes uh, in between arrivals and uh, two minutes to serve a customer. And I'll pass over to Paul now, who will um, illustrate this um, using a mathematical simulation model. Thanks, Vince. So this is a computer simulation model of the same process that Vince just described with our customers arriving for ice creams at an ice cream truck. So this is the arrival uh, point where customers arrive, then they queue here, and then they progress when they can to be served by the ice cream truck or the work center before departing. Now in this first model we're going to make uh, the arrival process such that every two minutes exactly someone arrives, and the service time here uh, for the ice cream is also exactly two minutes. So we have the average that Vince described of two and two. And so there's no variability in this particular system. So we're going to run this simulation model now. And just as we would expect, customers arrive in. Uh, there's no queue because uh, as somebody arrives every two minutes, the person uh, at the ice cream van has just been served after two minutes and so they depart. So this system uh, showing no queues. We're going to run the model now, speed it up to the end until Thursday morning. So we stop the simulation model at 9 o'clock on Thursday, and the results tell us that 712 customers were, were served ice creams in that period of time. If you look at some results down here, we can see that, in fact, nobody queued at all, as we, we observed. The maximum queuing time was no minutes, the, the average is also zero. And we've set here a particular value of 10 minutes as our kind of performance target, and we see that everybody obviously queued within the 10 minutes uh, target time. I'm going to hand back now to Vince to introduce uh, some more concepts about variability. All right, thanks, Paul. Um, so, as Paul mentioned, we're going to take a little bit of a closer look at variability. Um, as we saw in the first uh, little diagram, some customers were uh, it were arriving uh, after three minutes, some after one minute, and um, you would expect that some customers would have a lot larger orders, some customers a lot uh, smaller orders, and so it would take a lot longer and sometimes a lot shorter amount of times than the average two minutes to serve a customer an ice cream. And so what you could do is observe this ice cream truck for a long period of time, collect all the data, and see that um, it takes 10 minutes to serve an ice cream, 13% of the time. And so we can graph that. We'll put the, the 10 minute um, mark there. I just put a, gra a, a bar up that represents 13%. And then we'd also see that three minutes happens very often, well, it happens 20% of the time. And we could just collect all the data and simply fit a curve to it. And this uh, often what's used in these situations is an exponential distribution. Um, that, rep that allows us to take into account the variability in our mathematical uh, models. 
I'll, uh, I'll now pass this back uh, to Paul, who will show you the effect. So this is the same simulation you remember from last time, with the same process of customers arriving. But in this uh, example, we have uh, a variability now in the arrival process and the service time. So we still, importantly, have the average of two minutes between customers and two minutes on average uh, to be served. But we have the variability now that Vince uh, explained using the exponential distribution. Um, so we've introduced variability into the system. And we're going to run exactly the same system, the same average demand and, and service time. And now what we see is a build-up of queues. We're going to speed up the simulation again until the end, which was the same as last time. Thursday at 9 o'clock. Immediately we notice that there are less customers that had their service completed. It was 712 last time. Um, that's because we still have some customers uh, in the queue here. Let's look at the overall results for that uh, simulation. And we see now that, whereas before we had nobody queuing at all, with the same number of people coming through our system, just with the introduction of variability, we have an average queuing time of 18 minutes. And some poor customer had to queue nearly 57 minutes for their ice cream. And only 34% of all our customers uh, queued less than our 10 minute kind of performance target. And that's demonstrated just by very small introduction of variability into the average time is uh, how important that has had an impact on our performance of our system. Uh, and this is more like a real world system with the variability than assuming that everybody would take an exactly average of two minutes. And these types of uh, systems are observed of queuing networks in many complex processes such as those found in healthcare, uh, road traffic, uh, telecommunications, uh, data information systems and so on. And in another video we will go on, Vince and I, to uh, explain and show some of these more complex systems.